Back in the links folder, I'm going to double left click on the copy US election edition to open that Microsoft Word file up and then move that to the side. So starting with the easy stuff, um, we'll go to the long reads and I'll select all of that. Copy and then press Control A or Command A on a Mac to select all and then paste. Hit the escape key to escape from the text frame. Then we've got news analysis comment, right click, copy, double click on the text frame, select all and paste. And then back to the headline, copy, double click, select all and paste, hit the escape key. And then I'm going to zoom in to the text in the upper portion up here and then switch to my type tool. I'm going to highlight this character and change the color to chili red. And do the same with this one. Change the fill color as text is all classed as being a fill color also to chili red. Hit the return key to make the pop disappear. Hit the escape key, click away from the text frame. Hold down the space bar to pan. Again, with the following text, I'm going to speed up the video a little bit because it's the same techniques that we've covered in the previous two pages. So I'll add that content in there and then we'll take a look at bringing in the text frames that don't exist at the lower left hand side of the layout. I'm going to pan to the side. I'm going to bring in the uh, subheadings in here. So I'm just going to click and make sure that nothing's active. And then I'm going to select these two lines of text. Copy, click to the side. That will create a brand new text frame. It will be formatted exactly the way that InDesign formats its default type. So Minion Pro. And I'm going to hover my cursor over the handle on the middle right hand side and just pull that across just to make it fit within that column. And then I'm going to go over to my properties panel and change the paragraph formatting under the US election special to US subhead. And that just needs bringing down a touch by dragging the top middle handle down. You, know, you could pull that handle out a touch, but that's going to mean it's going to run out of the, uh, the column in there. So if I just move that back, pick up my zoom tool and zoom in a little bit closer. If you do find that you have got this issue with a couple of characters carrying over onto the line below, which just doesn't look good. Um, again, I can select my type tool. I can hover over that paragraph and quadruple left click. So one, two, three, four. And then you have either in the properties panel, you have your type formatting options for tracking in here. That's also shown at the top in the control panel as well. I'll click on the down arrow to change that from minus 20 to minus 30 picrems. And what tracking will allow you to do is select the characters you want to affect, and then it will increase or decrease consistently the amount of space between each of those highlighted characters. And over a paragraph, it's a very small amount that it tightens them up, but it can just pull those couple of characters back to the line above.